Hey, it's Renegade Code here, and today we're going to continue with our Git from the command line series, and we are now at merging. And just a quick showcase, right now I have a setup where I'm on a branch main with no conflicts. Oh, new new changes. If we look at our branches, I have a main branch, and then have a test branch, which have some changes, and I have a test 2 branch, which is actually identical to our main branch. So on main, we can see here we have a hello world. As we did in the last video, we can use checkout to change branches. So let's check out test. We can see the test branch has hello text text. And if we just very quickly check test two, we can see it also just says hello world and should be identical if we go back to our main branch. Like that. So the concept of merging is that we would like all our changes from one branch to be included into another branch. And Let's say, for example, in this case, where we have our, if we just go back to main, on main we just have hello world, some exclamation marks, on test, test is then made from main, and has changed the hello world to hello test. And how Git actually works behind the scene is that it keeps track of changes, so only changes. And because the changes made on test, it's made from the changes of main. In this case, there should not be any issues and we should be able to merge. How we then merge is that we need to be on the branch where we want to merge into. So in this case, let's ensure we want to merge into main from test. So I would first go to, not to test, I would go to main. Let's ensure again, I am on main, or hello world, to then merge test into main again we'll stand on the main branch we will simply do git merge test so as you see here pretty simple we have no conflicts we're fast forwarding and again we are still on main we now have the text saying test as we did on the test branch and worth noting again this is still local changes. So if we look at GitHub, which we have right here, and we go to main and we look inside our source, our main Java file, it's still gonna say hello world. But if we then push our changes, like a spell, like that, git push, pretty simple. We should see here that we have pushed changes from main to main. And if we now reload our project, and we go to main, go to source, main.java, we should say it says, see it says hello test. And if we then look at the commit history, we can see here that the test change was made on the test branch and it's now also on the main branch. This is not too clear because we didn't check beforehand, but just note that before main only contained up and until the more stuff, the test stuff is from our test branch and now it has been added to our main branch. But let's now see our test two branch, which is built from our main branch. If we then go on to our git checkout test two, which is kind of like a copy of the original main branch, and we ch change this to just be hello, for example, like this, we can see we have made changes. We are on branch test two. We have modified our source main Java. I would git add all changes. We can see now that we have staged or like prepared our changes. We then commit with a message saying updated test two. Hello, text for example. So we make some changes and we commit them and let's just push them for the sake of it so we can also see it on GitHub afterwards. If we then now go back to our main branch. So now we're back at hello test with a bunch of exclamation marks. If we then again, again, I think the main takeaway I would like to have anyone keep in mind after this video is merging you stand on one branch and then on main you do 
git merge and then the other branch name you want to merge into where you're standing. Because this, at least to me, was at first very confusing, like where am I merging to and from and so on. But stand on a branch and then name the branch some other branch you want to merge into your current position. But if you now do git merge test two, we see we have a conflict because there's some part of it. And actually, very important to know, right now I'm going to kind of be doing it manually, but normally I would utilize some kind of tool or IDE to handle merge conflicts because this in a large project is going to be like a pain to actually deal with manually. And I'm in a future video going to showcase how we can do like merging on Insight IntelliJ, which I would normally use when working with Java, which has some pretty good merge conflict handling systems. But there are other ways to handle merge conflicts. There's like Git tools directly. But again, I think most modern IDEs like IntelliJ, I'm pretty sure VS Code is obviously Studio Code is going to have something similar. But what actually happens behind the scenes is that we can, if we do like Git status, we can see that it kind of like merge or modifies the files where there are difficulties. And we then tell that the head is this state and then like the other branch is the state. So in this case, we are on main, where we have hello test. So that's like our head, our current position. And we would then like to change it or merge it with test two branch, as we just tried to do with git merge test two. And on test two, it has this case. When doing it then manually, in this case, you would simply just fix the files. And again, all these like extra stuff is actually text, so you need to delete it. But again, most modern IDEs would then understand that this is the conflicting areas and it would provide a proper UI to actually showcase and handle these cases. But what we can then simply do is that we would simply manually, again, not advised, but I would just manually say, okay, we would actually just like to keep it as hello exclamation mark from the new one. So I would just delete like everything else. And again, we can see it's still saying that we have modified source main, and I would then simply just commit this as like a merge conflict fix. And again, most tools will then name these commits in a proper way, so it would be more clear, but now we're just gonna do a commit, let's commit everything with the message, merge conflict. And we should be able to see now that we are up to date, we have a few more commits, so we can now push and our state, again, everything should be good. We are on main and the state of main is now hello. So then I actually have a bit of a better understanding of what's happening. Let's look on GitHub. So again, we look at test two where we just added some hello text. We updated the print line area. If we then look at our main area, we can then see that we, or what happened, is kind of that we, as we did before, we added the features from test branch. We then added the features from our test two branch, which you can see is the changes from doing world to hello. And again, note that that is how Git works. It just remembers the changes between each commit. And then here you can see like an extra commit has been added, which in this case we did manually. Most modern tools would handle this commit for you, but it then simply shows that it actually, again, it, it doesn't show all these like extra areas as we had to delete manually, but it shows what was actually changed and how this, in this case, our merge conflict was fixed. But that is the general concept of merging in GitHub. And of course, I'm not going to do it now, but you can delete branches or like more complex system might have like automatic branch deletion when merging. But otherwise, I hope it was insightful seeing this uh, basic showcase of, again, here is very manually, but this basic showcase of Git merging. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.